Welcome back everybody to the channel. It is 11.08, so just got done with Raw. I said a few weeks ago when Triple H re, you know, basically, you know, it's his time to take over, right? And I said it was the best Raw in, you know, years. This one topped that one for me just because the wrestling in this was paid per view quality for sure like no doubt uh it just felt a little bit better for me i don't know what it is but it just connected more than uh that one from a few weeks ago uh man i've said this the last few weeks triple h gets it storytelling everything he gets it so i'm not going to continue saying it but you're going to hear me say this so much, but the man gets it and understands storytelling at its finest. Um, so we had Oscar and Alexa, bam, they win. Probably the best tag team match uh, in that women's uh, tournament so far. That's not saying too, too much, but bam. Um, not going to talk about it much. I expected Alexa and Oscar to win. So, we got them and Eros Kai and Dakota Kai next week. Talking about Dakota Kai. She did a promo backstage. Then saw Dana Brooke. And there's that awful 24-7 title she's carrying. Why she's even carrying it. I wish they would abolish it. And please bring back the Hardcore Championship. With Triple H being over creative. The Hardcore Championship would make a ton of sense. It'd make a ton of sense in any era. To be honest with you. You can't mess that up. You just gotta have a, have a Hardcore Championship physical match. And all that. It doesn't have to be shown every week. But you know... Every other week, they showcase it. Build up a story or something. 24-7 title needs to get. Um, so, we'll just transition to that match. Quick, simple win for D Dakota Kai. Showcased her one-on-one, -on -one, you know, abilities. Bam. Quick, simple, like it should have been. So, we get Kai... El Sky versus Alexa and Oscar next week. Should be really good. Um and by the way, Bailey just I mean on the microphone of how she's presented, amazing man. Just amazing. Um Champa and the Miz. Their breakup is eventually going to happen. You can tell. Uh It's just going to happen, and uh, I hope it happens awfully soon. Go and pray. Um, so, Ziggler and Theory was backstage. Theory, best promo, excuse me, best promo he's had since being on the main roster. Thank you, Triple H. You should be saying. Because if you notice, especially tonight, and I will I will end up talking about Drew and Kevin Owens. If you notice, since Triple H has taken over, the promos are like much better for literally everyone. So talking about that, and you know, I'm I know I'm not going in order. I ne I hardly ever go in order unless I've got another thing right here beside me. But I'm going off the roof. If if I could remember most everything, that means they done something right. Um, or it just means it really sucks so bad. But that's not the case. Um, Theory's promo was fantastic. Dolph confronts him and says, "Hey, you know." You remind me a little, you know, of myself. Well, first of all, 
I can see it a little bit. But Theory is going to have a very good career. You can tell. He's got it, man. He's got it. And so they brawl. They continue brawling, like, on the commercial break. And they had a cool thing before it went to commercial break. Like, they brawled right into the camera. That was a cool angle and a very smart angle. So they come back from commercial break and show, show them brawling during the break. And there's like a hand, so tease, you know, maybe it was Dexter, who knows, you know, no one knew. They might be teasing something else. You don't know. Uh, so that basically sets up a match for later on, you can tell. Um, actually being the main event, we will talk about that. Let's go to Drew. Drew came out and said, looky, looky, the WWE Universal Undisputed Champion, however you want to say it, the WWE Champion, that's all I'm going to say. That's how I'm going to say it. That's basically what you should say. Look, he's not here tonight. Surprise, surprise, which Roman said, basically it came out that Roman was going to take weeks off because he's been He's been going at it for a long time, and he deserves it. But eventually, you know, that title going to have to, you know, going to have to be taken off of him. Who knows? Who knows? It might be Drew. Uh, I'll talk about that in another video coming up with Clash at the Castle. Um... But he, uh, Drew starts naming off these people he could be facing and all that. Doesn't mention Kevin Owens. Here comes. And he even said, and Kevin Owens even said in his promo, he said, you know, I, I started just to look around in the mirror and, you know, miss my old self, you know, the prize fighter in him. And... That means we are getting the prize fighter back, like I said last week. You could see it with the attack on Ezekiel, Elias, whatever the hell you want to call him, or his grandfather, whoever in his family. That was that was funny, though. I will admit that. That was funny. That was very... And it said that he would be out for a long time. Guarantee you they bring him back with Elias and Ezekiel out of here. Um... But Kevin Owens says, you know what, you're not really that much of a prize, but, uh, you know, I'll fight you or something. But before that, Drew went off with a fantastic promo guard. Oh, my gosh. Made me proud to be a wrestling fan once again. But these shows have made me even more proud, you know, coming back. Um, But, you know, he's talking about how he's been busting his ass and all that, blah, blah, blah. All, you know, just all, you know what I mean, like, just full force. And so they have a fight. It goes, I don't know, probably a good 15 minutes, it seems like. And Drew's about to set up for the Claymore. Here comes the Usos. Very smart move because that saves both guys. That saves both guys from win, loss, and all that. Um... So Drew gets the upper hand, KO stuns him, does the stunner on him, and you know, KO stands on top, but then the Usos get in there, and KO says, hey, tell your tribal chief that he owes me one. Now, earlier in that, before they fought, he mentioned Zami Zayn's name, where they had that fantastic match in Battleground, what was it, six years ago? Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn versus the Usos. And I think they would be the team to get the tag team championships off of the Usos. Um, but Drew stands tall here and Claymore's one. They had a rough bump out, out in the, you know, one of the Usos. I forget what it was. They let one of the Usos land on the other one, like back of the neck or something. Drew actually mentioned his back being hurt, too. I like how they're bringing... It just... It feels more natural when they bring up these stuff and everything. Um, 
So that was that. That was really good. Um, so the United States Championship. Well, before I do it, Seth and Riddle. Riddle. Seth was even supposed to come out. Riddle said, Riddle said something about, hey, I'm cleared. And he said, uh, next, and he says, next time I see you, I'm going to, you know, come back. And Seth says, man, I'm already a few steps ahead of you. And Riddle surprises him. Bob, you know, I figured he'd be there. He's at the show and Riddle gets the upper hand on Seth on this occasion. And then tell, and then backstage says, hey, I want, I want him at class of the castle. It's confirmed already. Rollins, Riddle at Clash. I figured that would be a match that would be set up. Rollins should win that one too. That's what I'm going to say. Rollins should win that one. Um, Who? I've been talking quickly. And it's already it's over eleven minutes. How good the show's been. Uh Lashley, Styles. Dang man. I'm glad they are showcasing the mid card and making it feel like the hard working championship, like it should be. Um This was fantastic and here comes Champion the Miz and I'm like I'm like dog man. Really, and uh, Miz and Champa won their tag team match against Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander. By the way, I hope Cedric and Ali stays as a tag team, and I hope they build them up. I hope that wasn't just a one-time thing. Um, and when I saw them come out, and I'm like, ah, they're going to toss them or something. Something definitely got to happen. So... Before they're probably close to going to commercial break, AJ is out and about. Miz is about to go towards them, and you know Champa's got the ref and Lashley uh, distracted. And here comes Dexter Lomas out and over the barricade. This time over the barricade to the commentators table. Got Corey Graves fell down. Jimmy Smith almost fell down as well, and. Brian is like, bring, you know, getting them up and then, you know, getting them away. They acted, they acted like he shouldn't have been there. And that was fantastic by the commentary team. And they cut to commercial break and everything. It's just like if one of our, one of us like normal fans was jumped over and everything. That's how they really had it right there. And that was really great. I love the story tone. I don't know where this is going to go, but I really like where it's heading. Um, so the match was very fantastic. I thought Bobby was going to retain, and he did. Um, and he you he retained with the spear. It set just the way someone wins and helps builds the other character is big. They didn't make, uh, they didn't make Styles, which is a babyface, tap out. Pinned him. Very smart move. Very, very, very smart move. Um. So the main event, Ziggler Theory, classic. Very good. And people thought, oh, there's something got to happen. You know, maybe a little part of me thought there was too. Nothing happened afterwards. It was just a very good match between Theory and Ziggler, and it just shows Vince McMahon really, now he dropped the ball on several people. Dolph Ziggler, he really dropped the ball on him. Ziggler, man, is one of those that sells his ass off and works day in and day out, and he is so good. I've said this multiple times. Live event that I watch, the bet, the the best match I've seen live with my eyes, and I've went to Raw and SmackDowns, was a live event, a live event in a small town that I live close to. Him, Ziggler, and Tyler Breeze, best live match I've seen. And I've seen AJ 
and Chris Jericho versus The New Day. And, you know, that was a good match as well. But Ziggler and Breeze was the best match I've seen live. Breeze is an underrated talent. I hope it gets used. Um, this was really good. And they had a they had so many near falls and when I when uh Ziggler hit the zigzag and it was a two count, I knew Theory was winning. I thought Theory would win this and he did. And really good. First win with the money in bank uh briefcase, by the way. So that was it for Raw. Very good show, fantastic show. Probably the best for me since uh Triple H taking over. It it beat the first week with him. So if you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I want to get want to get to 400, and I'm hoping me being back talking to E will get that. So if you enjoyed this, please smash that like button, and I will see you guys next time here on the TK Show. Peace out, y'all.